Glucosamine and chondroitin have been widely used for decades to help alleviate joint pain and relieve symptoms related to arthritis. But there continues to be considerable debate behind whether glucosamine and chondroitin actually work. For example, here is the conclusion from a large 2018 systematic review of common supplements for osteoarthritis. The authors write, our review demonstrates that the most widely used supplements, glucosamine and chondroitin, are not clinically effective in reducing pain and improving physical function at short term in patients with osteoarthritis. But even after this study came out, many healthcare providers continue to recommend taking these supplements. That's why I'm going to review some of the most recent clinical studies that tried to determine if glucosamine and chondroitin are effective in relieving joint pain and symptoms related to arthritis. Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Peng here. Some studies suggest almost 70% of patients with knee arthritis take some form of dietary supplement for their condition. And among the most common supplements taken for joint pain are glucosamine and chondroitin. Glucosamine and chondroitin are both considered disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs. Glucosamine is an essential component of proteoglycan biosynthesis. It is a major component of articular cartilage. Studies have shown that glucosamine has a dose-dependent response in promoting cartilage cell synthesis of proteoglycan. Glucosamine also reduces superoxide radical production and can inhibit matrix metalloproteases. All of this means that glucosamine can lead to decreased inflammation and potentially slow the progression of arthritis. Chondroitin is a glycosaminoglycan that also has anti-inflammatory properties. Chondroitin can help stimulate production of hyaluronic acid, which is a natural lubricating substance found in healthy joints. A number of clinical studies have shown that glucosamine and chondroitin can reduce joint pain and improve function in people with osteoarthritis of the knees, hips, and spine. But the evidence for their effectiveness is not consistent across all studies, and some studies have found that they are no more effective than taking placebo. It's also worth noting that the long-term safety of these supplements have not been well established. So when we have multiple randomized controlled trials giving us mixed results, we want to aggregate the data by performing a systematic review and meta analysis. This will give us a larger sample size to determine if the effects are truly beneficial. Let's look at one such study that was published very recently in 2022. The study was a systematic review and meta-analysis that included eight randomized controlled trials. They had a total of 3,793 patients, of which 1,067 had taken combination of glucosamine and chondroitin. Other groups included placebo, glucosamine only, chondroitin only, and NSAIDs, such as ibuprofen. Let's first look at the total Womax score, which is a tool used to measure pain, function, and stiffness related to osteoarthritis. The authors found that a significant difference was found when the combination group of glucosamine and chondroitin was compared with the placebo group, as well as the chondroitin-only group. No differences were found between the combination group and glucosamine only, or between the NSAID group. In terms of visual analog pain scores, no differences were found between any of the treatment groups. Importantly, the safety analysis showed that there was no significant differences in the rate of adverse effects in any treatment group. The authors go on to write that the combination glucosamine and chondroitin showed a significant advantage against placebo in the total Womax score, affirming the therapeutic effect of the combination. However, the combination was not superior to NSAIDs because NSAIDs have a rapid and strong effect, while glucosamine and chondroitin are slow-acting anti-rheumatic drugs, requiring more time to show therapeutic effects. Okay, so why did this study find different results from previous systematic reviews and meta-analyses such as the one in 2018 which I mentioned earlier in the video. The authors comment that one of the biggest problems with clinical studies looking at glucosamine and chondroitin is that they very seldomly consider the combination of the two drugs. Most clinical trials will study glucosamine versus placebo 
or chondroitin versus placebo. These studies definitely need to be done, but they potentially ignore synergistic effects between the two medications. This most recent systematic review and meta-analysis specifically focus on looking at studies using the combination glucosamine and chondroitin for knee osteoarthritis treatment. This is also consistent with real-world experiences in that most people who buy supplements at their local drugstore will get tablets that have a combination of drugs in them. Very rarely do people buy glucosamine alone and then buy chondroitin alone and then take them separately. The authors go on to conclude that the combination of glucosamine and chondroitin is effective in the treatment of knee osteoarthritis and it is worthwhile to popularize and apply the combination combination in treatment considering the point of effect, tolerability, and economic costs. So very interestingly, since the study was published in January of 2022, another similar study was published in July of 2022. This study was a systematic review and meta-analysis assessing the clinical efficacy and safety of glucosamine combined with chondroitin for the treatment of knee osteoarthritis. This study included six randomized control trials for a total of 764 patients and found found that the scores of joint pain, tenderness, swelling, and dysfunction in patients with knee osteoarthritis treated with chondroitin combined with glucosamine were significantly lower than those treated with routine treatment. There was no significant difference in the incidence of adverse reactions. The authors go on to conclude that chondroitin combined with glucosamine is more effective than chondroitin or glucosamine alone in the treatment of knee osteoarthritis and deserves clinical promotion. They also write that the conclusion still needs to be supported by multi center, high quality, double blind, large sample, randomized controlled clinical trials due to the limitations of the six trials included. And by the way, if you're finding this information useful so far, please click the like button. It'll help the video spread to more people and help them too. Thanks for doing that. Okay, so what are my thoughts on these studies and what do I recommend to my patients? The first thing I do when I assess a treatment is the safety profile. After all, I'm trained to first do no harm. And I think there is robust data to show that taking glucosamine and chondroitin in combination is very safe with minimal to no side effects. This is not the same for taking other common over-the-counter medications such as ibuprofen or naproxen. These can cause very serious side effects and can increase risk for gastrointestinal bleeding, renal failure, worsening hypertension, and cardiovascular complications such as heart attacks and strokes. Even acetaminophen, which is generally considered very safe, has potential for side effects. So taking supplements seems to be much safer than many other over-the-counter or prescription medications. But now the question is, do they actually work? And this is where the data is still mixed. I think what's clear is that if you were to take glucosamine and chondroitin, that you'd want to take them together rather than just one or the other. There seems to be abundant data that shows just taking one may not be superior to placebo. And from the two most recent systematic reviews and meta-analyses, combination therapy does seem to be superior. I also agree with the authors of both studies that there really does need to be more large randomized controlled trials comparing combination therapy glucosamine and chondroitin to placebo and for longer durations. Most of these clinical trials have only a few hundred patients and the study time period is only for a few months. We really want to see what kinds of effects, specifically disease modifying effects, glucosamine and chondroitin can have on knee osteoarthritis when taken for six months or even up to one year. But until those studies are done, I do think it's probably worth a try taking these supplements. They have an excellent safety profile and may help improve symptoms and function related to osteoarthritis. The the effect size in terms of improvement may not be as large as compared to platelet-rich plasma injections, but taking supplements is just so much easier and cheaper to do. There is still a lot of debate around ideal dosing, but the typical recommended formulations of glucosamine sulfate is 1500 milligrams per day, and chondroitin would be 800 to 1200 milligrams per day. As always, if you have any underlying medical comorbidities or are worried about medication interactions, you'll want to discuss with your healthcare provider first. Lastly, I want to point out that there is no current one and done treatment for osteoarthritis. It is critically important to take a multi modal approach to not only help reduce pain and symptoms, but to try to slow the progression of arthritis. I've compiled a list of all my most recommended treatments for both knee and hip osteoarthritis. You'll definitely need to check out these videos to learn more. Thanks for watching.